Hello, my name is Leanne, and I'm here to talk to you today about the Cognitive Abilities Test, or the COGAT, Form 7. There are currently a few different versions of the COGAT being used. Form refers to version number. Most schools are using Form 7, but feel free to contact your school if you're unsure as to the version that they are using. There are also spring and fall versions of the test. Children tested later in the year are often expected to tackle more difficult questions than those who are tested earlier in the year. The COGAT is used to assess a student's reasoning and problem-solving skills. The results are used to predict the success of a student in school. It's generally administered as a K-12 aptitude test. The COGAT measures developed abilities, not innate abilities. The development of these abilities begins at birth and continues through early childhood education. These developed abilities are influenced by both in-school and out-of-school experiences. Because these results are closely related to an individual's success in virtually all subject matter, these test results can be used in planning effective instructional tactics. In combination with other relevant information about a student, scores can be used to effectively adapt the learning curriculum and improve the chances for a child's success. The COGAT is given at various times throughout the year, depending on the school, the child's grade, and the purpose of the exam. The COGAT is administered in a group setting, typically in the school. The COGAT is made of three different sections called batteries. The verbal battery, the quantitative battery, and the nonverbal battery. These batteries can be administered separately or together depending on the specific needs of the school administering the test. They are designed to assess specific needs correlating to each of those sections. More specifically, the COGAT measures cognitive development, problem-solving skills, and the ability to learn new information. Because much of its content is nonverbal, the COGAT is considered to be very good for testing students who are not native English speakers. The COGAT uses two types of norms when tests are scored, age norms and grade norms. Age norms compare how a student performed in comparison to other students in their age range. Age norms span from 4 years and 11 months to 18 years old and students are usually put into one month groups. Age and grade norms will often be very similar, however the age norms are very useful for when a child is considered either young or old for their grade level. Scores for the COGAT are calculated in a number of steps. Firstly, the raw score is calculated based by the number of questions answered correctly. Raw scores are then converted to Universal Scale Scores, or USS, for each of the three batteries. This is then used to calculate the Standard Age Score, or SAS, Percentile Rank, and Stay 9 Score. Using these scores, along with an analysis of the patterns in the student's scores, that student is then given a score profile. Here at Bright Kids, we offer a variety of options to help your child prepare for this very challenging test. Contact a friendly Bright Kids account manager today to learn more.